Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Coralvina. Hello, hello. Welcome back. It is Wednesday. Hope you're having a great day. It is a beautiful day in Cincinnati, Ohio here. The weather is gorgeous. So we'll be taking advantage of that later. Going on a walk. It's our favorite thing to do. All right, guys. So all this week, because it is the election week, <laughs> and very few people are excited about it. What we are doing is we are be making beautiful red, white, and blue scarves, okay? Ooh, look at this pretty, light, feminine, summery scarf. This would be a great option for, like, the 4th of July. You know, something really light. A lot, got a lot of summer white. Got a lot of red, white, and blues in here. I think it's really pretty. I think it could be a little bit more vibrant. But, you know, maybe that's just the tone of the scarf. It's delicate, soft, light wrong with that I think it's pretty I hope you do too all right so this is what we made yesterday and today we are gonna switch it up a little bit we are going to do paper red white and blue paper sticking with that patriotic theme why because we all love America and that's why we're fighting over so much okay let me put this away and we're gonna get started let me show you our paints they're different um, from what we used yesterday I used different paints for paper and different paints for silk. That's just how I roll. Okay, so I've got reds and blues, and I guess we're going to use a little bit of the white. Sure, let's throw some white in there too. All right, so this is what we've got. Three reds, three blues, one white. Are y'all <laughs> are y'all sick and tired of hearing about red and blue yet? I kind of am. This whole thing is reminding me very much of like a natural disaster when you want to watch the news because you want to be informed about, you know, what hurricanes are hitting where and then you have to turn it off because you've watched it for hours and hours and hours and you can't stand it anymore. That's what this feels like to me. <laughs> so I'm sure we're probably in similar situations. Okay. All right there, Dewdrops, we're going to turn on our Dewdrop view and we're going to get going here. There we go. And sure, let's start with our white straight down the center of the tray. And we've been doing a lot of separated red, white, and blue. So maybe let's just get a little crazy. We'll do it. Get all our blues on here. And then let's come in with our reds. A little bit of a strawberry red there. And finally, our really deep dark red. Okay, so next thing we will do is move our paint around tools. Let's see what we can get here. Some of you have not watched water marbling before. What we are doing is floating paint onto the surface of water. And when we're ready, we're going to dip down a paper or silk and get a one-of-a-kind unique print based on what we see on the tray. All right, so we've got a little, little going through here. We can see our line of white. Let's adjust that. And we just gave it a nice little back and forth there. And we're going to dip down our paper and see what we've got. We should have some really patriotic looking loops. OK, 
Are you ready? Let's see what we've got. Very nice. So we lowered it down and we are going to pull it up out of the water and see what we've got, okay? Now you might see dripping and running. That's totally normal. Just paint that wasn't absorbed into the tray, okay? So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, very pretty. I like it. Looks very well incorporated. It doesn't look, doesn't look separated. Hope you like it. <laughs> very nice. Okay, let me move this away and uh, hang it up. All right, there are dew drops. Do you want to see what's left in the tray? Let's see what happens. Let's do one more. And this is like the crazy print. I'm going to give it a real quick swirl, okay? Okay, so this is what we've got. We won't add anything extra. We'll just swirl it around a little bit. All right, let's see what we've got. Super pretty, very swirled. All right, it's a nice abstract looking print here. All right, I'm gonna move this aside here. We'll hang that one up to dry. Okay, so we've got two beautiful prints in just a few minutes. So dew drops, hope you're hanging in there. <laughs> I hope you're not letting this whole thing get you down. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. So this is Diane from Corvina. Come back tomorrow. We're going to do more paper marbling. It's going to be awesome. And I hope you find joy wherever you are. I hope you have something you're looking forward to, something you're excited about. All right. Remember, guys, live colorfully, and I will see you tomorrow.